Hi there and a very warm welcome to the 12 days of autumn writing with me Maria Franklin. It's great to have you here and um, I'll be here every morning um, at 9am for the next 12 days with an uh, autumn related related writing prompt for you. So this is my third foray into this uh, territory this year. So we had the 12 days of spring writing uh, back in April. We've had summer writing in August and by popular demand here is the 12 days of autumn writing for you. Uh, so a little bit just to introduce myself to you before I tell you a bit more about uh, today's first writing prompt. So I'm an author of domestic thrillers uh, I'm also a, a, a poet and I'm a creative writing teacher. Um, I have a master's degree in creative writing and I've been teaching creative writing for about seven years now, both in the classroom and online. So I love working with other writers, always happy to hear from them. So please feel free to, to drop uh, a line to say hello into the, uh, into the comments box below this video. Um, and also if you'd like to ensure you don't miss a single day of the writing prompts, be sure to hit the subscribe button for my channel. And if you like a particular day's writing prompt, also hit the like button as well I'd be really grateful for that because it brings other writers along to the the channel as well so that they can benefit from the the daily writing prompts that I'm going to offer okay so um, I'm going to uh, uh, tell you a little bit more about the course so it's just a, a 12 day mini course uh, each day I'm going to post an autumn related writing prompt video so I'll, I'll aim to do that at around nine o'clock each morning so each writing prompt will be something quite ambiguous something you can approach however you like as a writer so whether you're a beginner or a more advanced writer it doesn't matter you just approach it at your own level um, and, and in whatever way you you want so you could write um, a, a poem a story a personal memory um, a descriptive piece you can launch straight in with the writing prompt or you can do a little bit of planning first um, I'll talk a bit more about planning in subsequent videos I won't overload you with that uh, today um, and we'll also talk about editing when we get right to the end so around about day 11 I'll talk a bit about um, editing um, it'd be lovely if you were to uh, buy yourself to treat yourself to a, a special pen and notebook especially for uh, these writing days that are coming up so hopefully this will encourage a, a regular writing habit for you if you've perhaps stalled a little bit um, it might just breathe a, a bit, bit of fresh life into your writing and it'll in, it will encourage that sort of daily momentum and hopefully after the 12 days you'll you'll be wanting to continue so I think autumn's probably my favourite season. I know there's something beautiful to be found in all seasons, but autumn is without doubt a, a really lovely season. It's full of, of sights, it's full of sounds and smells and experiences to really evoke memory and to fire the senses, both for writers and readers. And autumn has certainly inspired many a poem or piece of art. And hopefully it will inspire inspire you to over the next 12 days. So today's writing prompt is summer into autumn. So you can approach this by firstly thinking about what changes as summer becomes autumn so using the senses as much as possible so not just it's not just about what you can see but about what you can hear and smell smells particularly evocative when you're writing um, so have a go at that for day one's uh, writing prompt summer into autumn thinking about the changes um, and also I've set up a Facebook group for you to post your responses into as we progress through the the 12 days so if you you are on Facebook and you search for the 12 days of writing you will find the group uh, you'll have to click the request to join button and then I can add you in um, and I would love to see your responses to the daily writing prompts or some of them you don't have to post in every day you don't have to post in at all you can just have a read of what everybody else is doing what I really encourage is is writers feeding back 
on what each other are doing. It really does help you develop as a writer to, to read what other people are writing. Well, to read generally is one of the best things you can do as a writer. But if you're looking for um, things to praise another writer about and maybe a point for in improvement even as well. So it's just a really good culture to, to be in. So do join the Facebook group and do help us all celebrate what each other's uh, resp writing responses are. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for bringing your writing energy and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye for now.